grade 9 students. Halina at matuto. So for today's lesson, we will discuss about proves the conditions for similarity of triangle, specifically special right triangle theorem. For the objectives of our lesson, so at the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to number 1, illustrate special right triangles. Number 2, prove the special right triangles. And number 3, solve problems involving special right triangles. For the most essential learning competency, we have proves the conditions for similarity of triangles. So we have the special right triangle theorems with the code of M9GE dash IIIG dash H dash 1. There are things that you need to do while watching this video. Number one, make yourself comfortable. Number two, get your math notebook or any scratch paper. And number three, get any pen or pencil. To begin with, let's have first this short activity. So tell whether what kind of triangle are the following figures. The first one, the wings of an origami in your art class. Very good, it is an isosceles triangle. How about this? Your snacks during break time. Good job! It is a right triangle. Next one. The play button in your cell phone. Very good! It is an equilateral triangle. Next. Your pizza slice share in your cookery class. Correct. It is an isosceles triangle. Last one. Is the lateral face of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Very good. It is an equilateral triangle. So why do we need to recall these kinds of triangles. So we will now begin our discussion and it's all about special right triangles. So let's now discuss special right triangles. Let's discuss the isosceles right triangle. So pag sinabi nating isosceles right triangle, the legs of the right triangle are congruent. So, kung halimbawa, itong leg na to ay 7, ang isang leg ay magiging 7 din. The longest side in a right triangle is called the hypotenuse. What is isosceles right triangle theorem? In an isosceles right triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 2 times the length of the leg. Let's prove the 45-45-90 degrees triangle or the isosceles right triangle. So we have here a square and we all know that a square is both equilateral and equiangular. Pag sinabi nating equilateral, all sides are congruent. Okay? So kung mapapansin nyo, ang bawat side ng square measures one unit. And it is also equiangular. Meaning, each angle ni square measures 90 degrees. Okay? If we draw a diagonal, then the square is divided into two congruent right triangles. Okay? Ang diagonal din ang naghati dito sa dalawang 90 degrees angle. Okay? So, hinati niya ngayon, into two congruent angles. So, ito'y magiging tig 
45 degrees. Okay? So, meron na tayo ngayong dalawang 45-45-90 degrees right triangle. Okay. So, ngayon, ang kailangan nating hanapin kung ano man ang length ng ating hypotenuse. So, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ay sides ng right triangle, okay, unknown sides ng right triangle, we need to use the formula ng Pythagorean theorem. So, we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay? Since na yung A at B ay legs ng right triangle, so parehas ang value nila na 1. So, we have C squared is equal ang A natin is 1. So, we have 1 squared plus 1 squared. So, C squared is equal to 1 squared that is 1 plus 1 squared that is also equal to 1. So, C squared is equal to 1 plus 1, that is 2. Get the square root of both sides. So, square root ni C squared ay magiging C na lang, kasi makakancel na to. So, C is equal to square root of 2. Now, the ratio of the sides of a 45-45-90 degrees triangle is 1, is to 1, is 2 square root of 2. Next. So, we have here the pattern formulas. So, pag sinabi natin pattern formulas, so, ito na yung ating shortcut method. So, kung halimbawa ang nawawala yung hypotenuse, then, ito lang yung ating formula na gagamitin. So, hypotenuse is equal to leg times the square root of 2. Ngayon, kung nawawala naman ay leg, so we have here the formula, 1 half of h times the square root of 2. Okay? So, hindi na tayo maglolong method. Okay? So, basta alam natin, yung formula na to, madali na sa ating uh, makompute kung ano man yung missing uh, side ng 45-45-90 triangle. Let's have some example. So, we have your h is equal to leg times the square root of 2. Okay? Now, so, ito yung ating given na triangle. Okay? So, kung wala yung markings, kung yung, sa given triangle, wala yung markings, okay lang as long as nandito yung ating um, angle. Okay? So, ito din yung nagsasabi sa atin kung anong, anong special right triangle ba yung ating sinosol. Okay? So, given here, ang leg ay 5. So, we need to get the value of x. So, dahil ang isang leg ay 5, so, ibig sabihin, ito din ay 5. Okay? Now, para makuha natin yung value ng x o yung ng hypotenuse, so, we have your h is equal to leg times square root of 2. So, ang given leg natin ay 5. So, 5 and then copy square root of 2. So, we have your 5 square root of 2. So, ito yung ating final answer. Next. Okay. So, ang ating given leg naman ay 8. So, again, ang nawawala ay ang hypotenuse. So, dahil ito ay 8, ito din ay 8. So, balikan natin ang formula. So, h is equal to leg times square root of 2. Okay? So, ano yung given leg natin? Okay, that is 8. So, h is equal to 8 square root of 2. Ang lagay niyong tatandaan na ang hypotenuse ay katapat ni right angle. Okay? Let's have another example. So, we have here, okay, a 45-45-90 triangle, given ang hypotenuse, so, nawawala ang leg ng right triangle. Okay? So, para makuha natin ang leg ng right triangle, Babalikan natin yung ating formula kanina. So, we have here, h is equal to leg 
times the square root of 2. Since given ang ating hypotenuse na 15 square root of 2, so we have here 15 square root of 2 is equal to leg times the square root of 2. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung leg, divide both sides by square root of 2. Okay? So, cancel dito, cancel dito, ang leg is equal to 15. Okay? So, 15 to, ang length nito, 15 din ang length nito. Okay? Next. Ayan. Given na naman ang hypotenuse. Pero ang hypotenuse natin is 20. So, para makuha natin ang length ng ating leg, okay? So, we have h is equal to leg times the square root of 2. Since na ang ating hypotenuse is 20, so we have 20 is equal to leg times square root of 2. So, divide both sides by square root of 2. So, cancel dito. Leg is equal to 20 over square root of 2. Now, ito na ba yung ating final answer? Hindi pa. Kasi, ang ating denominator is a radical. So, we need to rationalize it by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So, multiply natin. Okay? by square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Okay? So, 20 times square root of 2 that is 20 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 that is square root of 4. Now, what's the square root of 4? Okay, correct. That is 2. So, leg is equal to 20 square root of 2 over 2. So, 20 divided by 2 leg is equal to 10 square root of 2. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung ating final answer. Next. Okay, so let's discuss the 30-60-90 triangle. So, pag sinabi nating 30-60-90 right triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg or the side opposite of the 30-degree angle. And the length of the longer leg or side opposite ng 60-degree angle is square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. Okay? So, Let's prove the 30-60-90 degrees triangle. So, given an equilateral triangle, so pag sinabi natin equilateral, all sides are congruent. So, kung halimbawa, ang isang side ay 2 units, then the other sides ay take 2 units then. It is also equiangular. So, pag sinabi natin equiangular, all angles are congruent. So, based sa ating given na triangle, Bawat isang angle, it measures 60 degrees. Okay? Now, if we draw an altitude, then the given triangle is divided into two right triangles. Ang altitude then, ang nagsisilbing angle by sector ng 60 degrees na to na nasa taas, so meaning itong 60 degrees na to ay madidivide into two congruent angles. So, ito ay magiging 30 degrees. Ito ay magiging 30 degrees din. Okay? So, tingnan natin itong side na nasa baba. So, meron tayo dito midpoint. So, ang midpoint, it divides the given line segment into two congruent segment. So, since ang ating given dito ay 2, so meaning ito ay 1, ito din ay 1. So, meron tayo ngayong dalawang 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Yung isang blue at isang green. So, ihiwalay natin yung isang 
right triangle. Okay. So, ang side opposite ni 30 degrees, ang tawag natin dyan ay shorter leg. Ang side opposite naman ni 60 degrees, ang tawag natin dyan ay longer leg. And the longest side and the side opposite ng 90 degrees ay si hypotenuse. So, balikan natin yung measures kanina. Ang hypotenuse ay 2 at ang shorter leg ay 1. So, nawawala sa atin ang length ni longer leg. So, para makuha ang length ni longer leg, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. So, we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, sabihin natin na si A si longer leg. So, ang ating C ay ating hypotenuse which is so, we have here 2 squared is equal to A squared plus ang ating B na 1. So, we have 1 squared. So, 2 squared that is 4 is equal to A squared plus 1 squared that is 1. Combine like terms. So, we have A squared is equal to 4 minus 1. So, A squared is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3. Get the square root of both sides. So, A is equal to square root of 3. So, ang length ni longer leg ay square root of 3. So, the ratio of the sides ng 30-60-90 triangle ay 1 is to 2 is to square root of 3. To summarize our discussion, don't forget that in an isosceles right triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to leg times square root of 2. In a 30-60-90 degrees triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg and the length of the longer leg is square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. To continue, kindly get your notebook or scratch paper and a pen and try to answer the following. Given here is a 30-60-90 right triangle. So if line segment AC is 12, we need to find the length of line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment AD, line segment BD, and line segment DC. So you only have 3 minutes to write your answers on your notebook or scratch paper. So let's now begin.
All right. So let's try to answer now the given questions. So what is the length of line segment AB? Okay, correct. That is equal to 6. Why 6? Okay, based on our given right triangle, line segment AB is the side opposite of the 30 degree angle. So meaning it is our shorter leg. And to get the length of the shorter leg, shorter leg is equal to one half of the hypotenuse. Since that the hypotenuse is 12, which is line segment AC, then kalahati ng 12 ay 6. Therefore, line segment AB is equal to 6. Did you get it? Very good. How about the length of line segment BC? Correct. That is 6 square root of 3. Why? Line segment BC is the longer leg. Okay? And to get the longer leg, so, we have longer leg is equal to shorter leg times the square root of 3. Since that ang ating shorter leg ay 6, so we have your 6 square root of 3 as the length of line segment BC. How about the length of line segment AD? Okay, so you have to look at the given right triangle BDA. So, sa right triangle BDA, si AD ang ating shorter leg at si line segment AB naman yung ating hypotenuse. So, to get the shorter leg, so 1 half of 6, that is equal to 3. Very good. Did you get it? Good job. Next, number 4. What is the length of line segment BD? So again, look at our triangle BDA. Line segment BD is the longer leg. Therefore, line segment BD is equal to correct. That is 3 square root of 3. Last one. What is the length of line segment DC? So, as you can see, line segment DC is part of line segment AC. So, by segment addition, A, line segment AD plus line segment DC is equal to line segment AC. Since that line segment AD is 3 and the line segment AC is 12, so we have here line segment AC 12 minus line segment AD, which is 3. Therefore, line segment DC is equal to 9. Very good. Did you get the correct answers? Good job. Let's have another one. So given here is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if line segment BD is 4 square root of 2, we need to find the length of line segment AB, line segment AC, line segment BC, line segment AD, and line segment DC. So, you only have, again, 3 minutes to write your answers on your notebook or scratch papers. So, let's now begin.
Alright, so let's try to answer now the given questions. So, what is the length of line segment AB? Okay, so let's figure out the measure. So, it says here that line segment BD is 4 square root of 2. So, kung titignan natin yung right triangle BDA, si line segment BD ay isang leg. And si line segment AB ang ating hypotenuse. So, to get the hypotenuse, so we have hypotenuse is equal to leg times the square root of 2. Since na ang ating given leg ay 4 square root of 2, so hypotenuse is equal to 4 square root of 2 times square root of 2. So multiplying radicals, so hypotenuse is equal to 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? Correct, that is 2. So we have here hypotenuse is equal to 4 times 2. 4 times 2, the hypotenuse now is equal to 8. Okay, therefore, line segment AB is equal to 8. Did you get it? Very good. How about the length of line segment AC? So, on our given figure, line segment AC is our hypotenuse. So, again, hypotenuse is equal to leg times the square root of 2. So, line segment AC is equal to 8 square root of 2. Did you get it? Very good. How about the length of line segment BC? Correct. That is also equal to 8 because line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC. How about the length of line segment AD? Correct. That is 4 square root of 2. Because line segment BD is congruent to line segment AD. Last one. What is the length of line segment DC? Correct. That is 4 square root of 2. Because line segment DC is also congruent to line segment BD. Did you get the correct answers? Good job! Alright, in your notebook, kindly answer the following questions. Number one, what have you learned in this topic? Number two, why 45, 45, 90 degrees or the isosceles right triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangle are called special right triangles? And what realizations do you have in solving special right triangles? And that is the end of our discussion. So thank you for listening.